artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, quantum computing, big data, blockchain. Today's world is running on science and technology, fueling the potential solutions to today's and tomorrow's problems. As such, the business of technology and science has been and will increasingly be the business of government. GAO is here to provide nonpartisan, thorough, and balanced professional analysis of technological and scientific developments that affect society, the environment, and the economy. Since 2002, GAO has provided technology assessment and direct scientific support to Congress on emerging and emergent innovations. We provide evidence-based analysis that can help position the government to make decisions on issues such as privacy, security, and public safety implications of new technology, IT and defense tech acquisitions, and the national security and other programs they support, federal investments in research, development, and advanced manufacturing to improve U.S. economic competitiveness, making the best use of advancements in healthcare, energy, and space science to improve the human condition and our society. Also, across GAO, we have routinely reviewed federal programs and initiatives concerning science and technology. Now, we are creating a new team within GAO to enhance our technology and science function. The new Science, Technology Assessments, and Analytics team will focus on four key areas. Technology Assessments and Technical Services for and to the Congress. Reviewing science and technology programs that exist within the federal government. Compiling and utilizing best practices in the engineering sciences. And establishing an innovation lab to explore, pilot, and deploy new advanced analytic capabilities and innovative auditing practices. As GAO responds to a greater federal focus on science and technology issues, we plan to continue to grow and enhance our expertise in this essential area. We expect to meet this mission by both hiring new staff and reorganizing the experienced people we already have. We look forward to bringing even more of our objective fact-based analysis to the technology and science issues and their public policy implications facing government in the 21st century and beyond.